Panasonic Lumix are releasing a new lens into their S series lineup. We've got the 18 millimeter f1.8. Now, that's an interesting lens. It's obviously very nice and wide, which is great, but it joins a kind of series of f1.8 lenses. We've got five now if you include this. So obviously the 18 mil, the 24 mil, the 35 mil, 50 mil, and 85 mil. They're all the same size. They're all pretty similar in weight as well. And they all have the same filter size. So you could have one ND filter, or one polarizing filter, shared among all the lenses. And that's important because it means that things like switching between lenses when you're using a gimbal or something like that becomes super, super easy because you don't have to make that much of an adjustment since they're the same size and roughly the same weight as well. And of course, like I say, that's a massive advantage with the filter size, only having to have one to cover five different lenses. Now, of course, this is the ultra wide lens in that lineup. 18 millimeter allows you to get all kinds of different interesting shots. So both for photography and for video. So photo wise, obviously things like landscape, architectural stuff, there's loads of stuff you can do with a wide lens like that. And video, this is gonna be very useful for as well. Of course, vlogging is gonna be super useful on this lens, but it's also just a great all rounder kind of lens for a lot of video shots. You know, it's a good establishing focal length and it's a good kind of one to use, especially if you shoot 4K or even above that resolution, you can crop in a little bit as well. Now, image quality wise, this looks really, really nice. I'm not particularly surprised because the other f1.8 lenses also look very, very nice as well. But you know, you've got nice sharp images, the colors look great, the contrast is good. I didn't really have any problems with things like vignetting, which you might expect from a lens like this. We've got 13 elements in the lens with nine diaphragm blades. And that means if you are shooting f1.8 and you wanna get a little bit of a blurred background, you get a nice smooth bokeh with the lens. Now back to video again, Panasonic Lumix have said there's a major suppression of focus breathing with this lens. So of course you've got a nice big focus ring here if you wanna do manual focus, but you're not gonna be suffering from that focus breathing if you are shifting focus during a scene. In terms of the actual design and the feel of the lens itself, it's much like those other f1.8 lenses. You know, it's nice and small, it's nice and compact. I was using it with the S5, which felt like the perfect partner for a lens like this. You know, it feels pretty solid though to actually hold it. And you've just got the one ring on there. So a nice, deep manual focus ring, which is nicely weighted as well. Otherwise, we just have the AF-MF switch. So nothing major on there. It's pretty sleek. It's nice to actually hold in the hands as well, which is great. It's also weather resistant and just generally feels pretty hardy. I don't really have anything negative to say about the lens. You know, it kind of fulfills everything I would want from a lens like this. You know, nice wide lens, Great for video, great for photo. And I really, really like this kind of setup that Panasonic Lumix are doing with these f1.8 lenses. So I don't really have anything negative to share about it at all. I enjoyed using it a lot. And I think it's a great addition to the lineup. I think that, you know, if you are in that ecosystem, this is just a great addition to what you can already get. Now, if you wanna check out the lens for yourself, all the spec and the pricing and all that fun stuff, you can check out the link down in the description. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, Thanks for watching.